everybody. In today's video, we're going to be taking the Earth, we're going to be taking Mars, and we're going to swap their places in the solar system and see what happens. This one's going to be a good one, I feel like. You know, you always have those conspiracy theories. You know, you got the face on Mars. You got a lot of different things going on on Mars. It's so close to Earth, this and that. So what if we take Earth, swap it with Mars, take Mars, swap it with Earth? Will Mars have life? Will Earth lose its life? Or will Earth keep its life and Mars will keep its life? I mean, there's a lot of uh, a lot of possibilities here, guys. There's a lot of possibilities. So let's get into this immediately. We have a model of our solar system going. We're playing Universe Sandbox 2, by the way, if anyone wants to know. Um, that is a question I get a lot, so apologies for not saying uh, what it is. We're playing Universe Sandbox 2. So first thing we're going to do, pause the game. We're going to swap out Mars for Earth. Okay, let's select Earth like this. Replace. Okay, Mars is now Earth in the same position and we will do the exact same over here to earth we will replace it with mars okay i left the moons of phobos and deimos which are now moons of earth and now the moon is going to be a moon of mars their positions have been swapped let's uh press play and just slowly see what happens here let's take a look so the hubble space telescope still orbiting mars that's a good thing let's speed up time a little bit and uh see what we get to me it looks like we just lost the hubble space telescope it's gone it's not enough gravity i guess to keep it i feel like the same is going to happen with the moon here Moon is a planet orbiting the sun. Okay, so we've lost the moon, so Mars cannot sustain a moon. We know that. Earth over here, which was where Mars was. Let's check out how this is going. Did we lose the moons? I think we lost the moons. Or did they crash directly into Earth? But I don't see any uh, carnage on the Earth, I guess. So I don't think they crashed. So immediately, let's look over here. The average temperature is plummeting down. Gone, 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 gone. How low is it actually going to get out here? That's the question. Wow. So minus one Celsius. Interesting. Um, I'm noticing the speed is a little bit slower, I want to say, than it was originally, uh, being closer into the sun. It looks kind of stable, minus... Uh, it's still going down, actually. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's check in on the Earth later. It's it's currently getting very frozen. And what's interesting on Mars is the moon is literally... The moon is now its own planet, and it's, and it's trailing Mars here. So let's get on Mars. So look at... It's like a reverse... Look at this. The poles have like reversed where you have like, you have uh, like desert and then in the middle you have ice and then uh, it's like reversed of what Mars and Earth currently is. How strange is that? That is really weird. I did not see that. Did not expect that weird change. So the average temperature is still minus 72 and I want to say that's because there's no atmosphere on Mars. So it can't really heat itself up. Unlike the Earth, which is staying uh, relatively stable. The, the temperature is going up though, so I wonder if it's going to keep going up or is this, this a seasonal thing? Okay, interesting. Let's check out the composition of Mars currently. Uh, life likelihood zero. We need it. We need an atmosphere. Okay, so we'll get we'll get we'll get into that later. Okay, let's check in and our good pal Earth. I mean, we still have an atmosphere happening. We still have uh yeah everything is frozen yes, but not the oceans. So that's interesting. Minus 30, so it's still going down considerably. It's still getting very cold. Let's check out the life likelihood. Life likelihood, 90.8%. Wow. So if the Earth was where Mars is, I mean, we'd still have a great chance of... Uh... And we'll check back in to see if that is dropping. Currently, it's dropping very slowly, as you can see. Look at that, 90. Oh, but it's going back up. Average temperature still going down a little too much. It looks like the oceans are starting to completely freeze over. Let's check back in on Mars. Okay, so we have like the tiny, look at that. The poles now have the tiniest bit of, of like desert land there. Minus 57. So Mars really is becoming as cold as the Earth is now. And I mean, it's still going to be zero life likelihood. But what if, what if we can juice up the atmosphere? Yeah, see, atmospheric mass is one Mars atmosphere. So there is an atmosphere. Back to the Earth here. Earth is not bad, not bad. 89, it's going down. Life likelihood is going down slowly, but still it's not. Yeah, it is a ball of frozen. It is a frozen wasteland. Okay, so what would be the way that we can make this better? All right, let's stop and think. Put on our thinking caps. How could we make this better situation right let's go to mars i think mars could be very easy i think all we can do here is kind of increase a little bit of the atmosphere what if we give it one earth's mass of atmosphere instead of one mars and then for the earth what if we do like increase it a little bit as well to give it um i don't know trap some more heat in i guess try that but too much would not be good the atmosphere let's just make it two earth atmosphere 
And let's see what that does. Greenhouse effect. And okay, let's play this out for a while and see what happens. Oh, interesting. Look at the atmosphere on Mars now. We got like a little... What, what, dude? What do we have going on here? That looks crazy. What have we done here? Oh, there is a lot of atmosphere on Mars. This is interesting. Okay. But we can still kind of make out the details. Life likelihood. Look at this, guys. It is going in between 39 and 0. So instantly, we've given Mars a shot by just adding a little bit of extra atmosphere. We've given Mars a shot. I don't know it's glitching out, but I'll take that as a win, to be honest. I mean, we can have trilobites or whatever on there at least, right? Okay, now let's check out the Earth where Mars is. Yeah, I did give it extra atmosphere. It doesn't look like that's helping much. Let's see what changed. Life likelihood has gone down drastically. Wow, 57%. But we might almost want to just take that atmosphere away again average temperature yeah look this is very uh this is not ideal this is not ideal two earths is almost too much atmosphere right we go down here is there the greenhouse effect 20 it's still only 28 degrees so let's check out if mars is in the habitable zone right now of the sun and look at it is n currently not really so for mars to be successful it needs to be in a little bit more and then it should be fine. Now let's check out the Earth. Is the Earth in the habitable zone? Absolutely not. It's kind of kind of touches it around here, but yeah, for the most part, it's not. So that's kind of why life likelihood is going down so much. So finicky. So very finicky. Very interesting. So really, the Earth, we got to bring in closer. Mars, you know, we got to bring in closer. After doing this simulation, in my opinion, it's a lot easier to make a planet habitable by bringing it closer to a star and adding a couple things like atmosphere than it is to take a planet that already has life and is habitable and move it beyond a star and try to keep that going. I think um, it all comes down to the star, the sun, and where the planet is uh, relative in the, in the habitable zone, really and then the makeup of the planet. So there you have it, guys. Earth and Mars swapped. The Earth becomes a frigid, cold wasteland, and uh, Mars becomes not a bad place, you know? Mars becomes not a bad place. All right, so that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, please like this video and subscribe. I got a lot more stuff like this coming out. Leave a comment also if you want to see any different kinds of simulations or if you have ideas for stuff like that. And finally, um, I have a Discord. The link is in the description. You guys want to join that, talk about space, talk about this game, talk about other games coming up, uh, just whatever, really. Um, pop in, see the community, and uh, it would be awesome to have you be a part of the community. So thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.